guys, it's Cynthia Internet and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're one of my current 1.13 thousand subscribers, then welcome back. And if you're not, I actually don't care because I'm dying. Yeah, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of context. I woke up the other day, like any other normal day of my life. After about 15 minutes of great sleep, woke up, looked down at my hand, as one casually often does, and noticed that it was orange. Just like weird orange dots on my palm. My first instinct was that I woke up filthy. I don't know what I've been doing in my sleep. Maybe I've been rolling around in the mud. Maybe I didn't properly shower. I'm not sure. I wouldn't put it past me. That's kind of on brand. So I went to the bathroom, tried to wash my hands, actually successfully wash my hands. What was still there? The orange. I don't know if you can see it on here, maybe vaguely, but I literally woke up with a medical mystery. I inspected closer. I noticed that these dots were under the skin. I said, that's it. I'm dying of a rare disease. And I still might be. You know, there's no actual conclusion because have I gone out and sought medical help? No. Would I ever? No. After some research, both independent and from friends I contacted in a freak out, I have discovered that I most likely have keratinemia. Keratonemia? Keratinema? Keratema. How does one pronounce it? I don't know. I've only ever seen it written on the page, but it looks like carrot with anemia after it. If we're looking for the dictionary definition, keratinemia is a clinical condition characterized by yellow or orange pigmentation of the skin and increased beta carotene levels in the blood. It's apparently most common in vegetarians and babies. I went ahead and googled a list of the foods with the highest carotene levels and they just so happen to be everything I ate. Carrots, spinach, lettuce, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, broccoli, rock melon, winter squash. In general, the more intense the color of fruit or vegetable, the more beta carotene it has in it. I'm sorry, but don't help Health experts all the time say like you need a colorful plate so that's what I've been aiming for I've been eating the entire vegetable patch making a little rainbow but apparently being an ally is killing me I don't know what's happening and I kid you not the night before completely normal normal colored skin no weird orange Trumpian hues next day I wake up drops a carrot I don't know what's happening but considering this all happened in one night I would like to solve it in one night I also, the researcher I am, went ahead and googled a list of foods with the lowest carotene levels that are recommended for curing keratinemia in infants quite quickly. Because again, that is who it is most common in. And I got this really specific chart, little Excel spreadsheet of foods that you can eat. Bread, whole wheat, nuts, mixed, fruit butters, such as apple, seeds, such as sunflower, onions, raw, noodles with egg. But I also read on another parent forum for people trying to fix their infants that apparently egg yolk is full of carotene. So I guess noodles and egg white and dates. So I'm going to whip up the lowest carotene dinner you have ever seen and try and cure myself of this disease in a single night. And then I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and show you the findings. Because I'd really love to not be orange, okay? It's giving high school when I used fake tanner twice for my year 10 and 12 formal. It wasn't a good idea. I will see you later. Wish me luck. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. As I told you before, I've got the perfect low carotene meal plan. So, they said noodles. I have these noodles made of tofu. They said egg white. I have egg white in the cup. They said onion. This is my chopped earlier. And then, look, I'm not sure about mushrooms. They're not highly pigmented. So I'm gonna cross my little fingers and hope that they're not full of carotene. Ordinarily, you know what would go crazy in this little dish? Spinach. But I'm banned. So that's not happening. So I think I'm just gonna like chuck these all together. Maybe add a cheeky little light life smart dog and go crazy. Sure she's scared. Oh, yeah. and she loves it. And she's a little sure girly. What do you think? Oh, she's over there. <laughs> 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 oh, I made an omelet. <laughs> Can I put my salt? Oh, <laughs> so much salt. <laughs> <laughs> Because what I prepared earlier, she looks stunning. I don't want to know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> oh, she's hot. <laughs> Perfect. 10 out of 10. Who needs tongs when you've got fingies? I don't think we're going to be able to hear the dialogue. <laughs> Who needs tongs when you've got fingies? Very natural. Thank you so much. I'm an actor. Oh, she's looking good. Alright. 
time. Oh, here's those noodles to sizzle. Oh. That's a cure to keratinemia. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That looks insane. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> My eye, I know what the problem is. Please, <laughs> nothing. Dinner is ready. And now it's time for the transition from the pot into the bowl. Are you nervy? Oh, the broth really. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh god, it's gonna be a splash then. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Chef's quality. It's a couple of hours later. I am actually literally editing this video right now. I just made a thumbnail. I'm eating these sunflower seed buttercups from Trader Joe's. And those who are following along with the video may recall that that is indeed on the low carotene list. So I'm gonna be so white tomorrow, it's crazy. Hello, it's the next morning. I've woken up and I think I'm slightly less orange. I'll insert a little photo. Am I cured? No, but I'm well on my way. So it kind of worked. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video where I fully diagnosed myself with a disease that could literally be fake, then please thumbs up and subscribe. Or if you didn't because you really prioritize medical accuracy, then just do it anyway. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Subscribe before I die. I haven't been able to poo for 25 years.